Hey guys, Liberty Band 20 here. Welcome to the newest video of the week for a vlog. Uh, today is going to be about how I became a super fan for Liberty, what I've done for the past couple years with it, and show you some of my collection as far as uh, Liberty stuff goes, uh, what it means to me, uh, what I've gotten over the years, what I've done over the years, and just some of the stuff that I've seen accomplished. And uh, right now I'm going to head to the football stadium. That's the first place I'm going to stop at. I'm already at Liberty, so stay tuned, guys. Hope you enjoy this. Okay, so right now we're here at Liberty uh, University at Williams Stadium. Uh, the first time I ever came here is when my high school football team, Broad Run Spartans, actually came here to play against uh, the Chan I think it's the, sh I don't know, the Amherst Lancers. And uh, I really fell in love with the campus and I was like, I really want to go here. And I also said if, if uh, Broad Run won here, I'd apply here. And Broad Run won and uh, I applied here and found out it was a Christian college. And uh, I didn't care, I still came here. And so my freshman year, the very first day, uh, very first week, they introduced us to the, uh, the football chants here at Williams Stadium. And just the atmosphere of what I thought it was gonna be was just amazing. I absolutely loved it. And uh, the first year, it was incredible. I went to every game. Uh, I've only missed a few games in my lifetime here at Liberty uh, for good reasons, uh, weddings and family functions. Um, I love it. And then my sophomore year, I came up with the Liberty Band at 20 uh, persona, and I just fell in love with that. I just I wanted to be a super fan. So the first thing I ever did was I had a bandana, and I always had it on my face with my hat behind my head, uh, you know, backwards. And I started meeting some people, and that's when I met, excuse the point, and that's when I met my friend Jordan, and uh, he actually became my one of my good friends here. Still is a good friend. We bought the tag team belts. And decided to become uh, Team Band at 20. Uh, I'm Liberty Band at 20. He's Jay Copeland, you know, whatever he decides to be. But uh, we were always over at the student section having a great time. Uh, we'd be here wicked early. I'd be here, you know, <laughs> very, very early. Uh, la a couple years ago, I was the it was the first home game of the season, and uh, I actually sat out in, in the student section all day around eight, nine o'clock, and waited till the gates opened at five to come in. I know many people are like, why would you do that? You're a student, you can get it for free. It's just one of those things that I wanted to show that my dedication to the athletic program here at Liberty and my dedication to the football team, it was awesome. Uh, you know, I would run down, I would get seats, we'd be in the front, we'd have the tag team, tag team title belts, you know, hoisted over the railing and mocked up. Uh, I'd be in my jersey or something like that, he'd be in one of his shirts. And it was fun. Uh, we also did it for basketball. Um, the one season that Liberty went 15 and 20 and made the Big South title, uh, won the Big South title for their uh, in the tournament. Uh, there's a lot of pictures of Jordan and I. Uh, we went to the uh, to the Longwood game. We were you know, it was the first away game I've ever been to for basketball. It was a great atmosphere. It was fun. Uh, we were mentioned there. Uh, you could see us warm. You could see us in the basketball hype video. Uh, it was just a great year for Liberty Band for the Liberty Bandits. I loved it. Um, I know they've had the Kraken. Um, you know, shout out to him. He was he's been really great. Uh, hopefully, he, they find another fan base. You know, Jerry's Jokers has been great. Uh, my impact at Liberty is probably going to be very small, but it was very impactful on me to be a super fan to that. But being a super fan for me was waking up early, getting my back together, uh, getting all my gear. So I had all my chargers, my iPhone. Uh, camera as I had bandana title hat everything was laid out early in the morning I had a game plan if it was way early um, I come down and drive when I was off camp when I started living off campus I drive down get here way early go inside the bookstore have my laptop open and actually start watching football games until it was really time for me to go over and get in line for our game uh, I'm a huge college bas football fan and college basketball but college football is probably my favorite um, I love it so this was longer than I wanted to be for this for this part of the video but that's what it means for me um, I've saved almost everything I've had uh, that's coming up next as I'll show you guys what I have when it comes to memorabilia for Liberty and what I've done um, thanks guys for sticking around for this for me being a super fan a super fan for Liberty University athletics and for Liberty Flames means that you show up every day you be early you be loud you wear red stay for four quarters just be a fan stand up cheer don't be on your phone all the time you know be here for the game don't be here because you have to be here in that regard you know just enjoy it thanks guys for this little rant <laughs> kind of at the end there uh, like I said I'll show you guys next what I have collected what I've done with my Liberty stuff a lot of it and what I've uh, what I've accomplished and what I have thanks guys so one of the first things I want to show you guys was uh, my old jerseys 
Um, as you can see, my football one, which is 20, my other one, which is 20, my basketball one. I've had these for a few years now. I've had this one longer. Um, just want to show you, like, this is what I used to wear when I would go as a living band at 20 to all the uh, sporting events that I could, especially for football and basketball. Didn't get a baseball one. Um, hopefully, maybe just to have one to complete the collection would be great. But, uh, yeah, these guys are pretty, uh, pretty special to me, and this is one of the things I would wear to uh, any type of game that I would go for being a super fan. So there is the tag team belt that Jordan and I used for many years. One of them, actually, as we were the uh, tag team chance for the Liberty Bandits. There's the title I also carried sometimes when I wasn't with Jordan. But mainly this is what we did. We had the tag team titles. We dressed up with bandanas, the hats, and everything. Uh, this is where I do my setup. You know, just some of the stuff that I've gotten used to, you know, having around as I film. This is actually all a bunch of stuff that I had from away games. Actually, you have the Longwood game, which we lost 101 to 102. Uh, there's a couple, you know, hockey games in there that we, you know, that were good games that we won. The JMU game, the only, the second away game I went to, the very first one I ever did, though. There's the first playoff game I ever went to, the playoff ticket I ever went to up at the top. And the very left is when I had to do my sport management thing. I was actually at the CSU game with Liberty, and it was just so awesome to be a part of and great atmosphere. And here is all the tickets for the uh, playoff season that we went to for 2014. I went to every single game uh, for home, for the home game. So I, I framed these up because it was just a magical year. And uh, I, it's one of my favorite things that I have for Liberty. All right, guys. So that's just a really quick tour and really uh, quick thing what it, for me, what it means to be Liberty Bandit and what it means to be a super fan of Liberty. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned next week. I will be back with a brand new... Uh, Probably a football preview. It's Duquesne, and then I have Presbyterian, and the last game is Charleston Southern. So stick tuned for those. I am bringing Cape Talk back very soon. But yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around for this. This is Liberty Band 20, and every day is game day.